How can rectangles help us with multiplication? Well, whenever we're multiplying two numbers together, we can think of those numbers as the side lengths of a rectangle, and the product is the area of the rectangle. So for example, with 18 times 5, this might be a little challenging, but we can break this up. For example, like this. If I have a length of 18, I could break it up as 10 plus 8. I know 5 times 10, I know 5 times 8, so I see that the answer is 90. And someone else could have done it like this. And by the way, when we draw a rectangle, we can see why the distributive property works. 5 times the quantity 10 plus 8 can be thought of as 5 times 10 plus 5 times 8. Now, can we overestimate? Absolutely. For example, someone can say, well, I know 20 times 5 is 100, but wait, I went over 18 by 2, so I need to take away 2 times 5, which is 10. We still get 90 over here. So multiplication doesn't have to look different based on what we are multiplying because we can think about rectangles every time. So the next time you're multiplying two numbers, think about a rectangle, because it helps you think about what you know to help you in new situations. So think about this one, 15 times 12, and let me know in the comments how you would break this up. There are many ways to do it, but what way works best for you? Let me know in the comments.